Hey everyone, this is Tony Chooses Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add an author bio box to your WordPress blog posts without a plugin. This tutorial is specifically for people who use the Generate Press WordPress theme because this theme allows you to do this without a plugin using something called hooks. So if that's something you're interested in learning how to do, Let's get right on into the tutorial here. And I will say right off the bat that this is something that you want to do and I highly recommend that you do on your website because it is very personal for news visitors coming to your website. It allows them to learn about you. You introduce them to your, you introduce yourself to your users. So um, highly recommend you do this. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this um, right here. Let's just pick this blog post right here. And at the bottom, the goal here is to have um, down here, like something about, hey, this is Tony, the author of this website, add a couple call to actions and have a picture of my headshot there. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go into our WordPress admin dashboard. And if you do have the generate press WordPress theme installed, go ahead and go to appearance and elements. And in here, we wanna add a new element and we can use a hook like I was talking about. Um, we will call this simply author bio, you can call it whatever you want. And then in this section, you want to type in some HTML PHP um, to format what your author box looks like. And I have some, some code here. If you're interested, you can copy this. I'll have it linked in the description below. Um, but basically this is going to be my headshot, which we're getting from um, the avatar that you have uploaded to your WordPress website in the WordPress admin dashboard. Um, so that's, we're getting that here uh, in this section right here, and then a little blurb about myself. So it says, after years of backpacking the world solo, Tony is an expert when it comes to budget travel, discover, and then we have a link why T Tony quit his job to travel on the cheap and a link to my YouTube channel here. So um, again, extra ways that you can get your audience, your visitors to interact with your brand or whatever type of website you have. Okay, so that's good. That, as far as the layout's concerned, that looks good to me. What we wanna do is um, specify where this is gonna show up in a page. And um, you have a whole load of different options, but for us, we want it to be the generate, generate after content. So that's gonna show up right down there, uh, pretty much right above the comment section, but after all of the content of your blog post. And because we do have PHP code up here, um, right here, we wanna make sure we execute the PHP checkbox. Um, we want that to be checked. So that looks good as far as this page is concerned. And then the last thing you wanna do is sh uh, tell generate press where we want this to show up on our website. So that is going to be um, just for our, our posts. So search for posts and you can specifically like choose what individual posts you want this to show up on. But by default, and for me, I want this to show up on all posts across um, my whole website. And that's just posts, not pages or anything like that, just blog posts. Okay, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and publish these changes which are effective immediately. Um, and yeah, let's go test it out. So go back to our website. And before, let's use the same blog post, um, ATM fee rebates here. Down at the bottom, we did not see an author bio box before, and now we do. Hit meet Tony, here's my picture, uh, the blurb about me, my two links to my YouTube channel, and another page on my website, my about page. And I, I know we could probably add some padding up here between the top and the bottom and maybe get rid of some padding down there. But in general, that shows you how to um, add your author, author bio box to your WordPress website that's running the Generate Press theme without a plugin. I also have some videos about how to add an affiliate disclosure to your WordPress website blog post. So up top here, if you wanted to say you had some affiliate links in your blog, um, you wanted to, you know, disclaim people that that's the case. I'll show you how to do that in another video right here. And if you wanna learn how to add AdSense code to the header of your website on specific pages, I'll have a video for that right here. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video.